Welcome back, everybody. My name is Legit Lee. I wanted to show you guys this episode today because I just got done working on my 3D printer. This is the CR10, and I was having trouble with my extruder. Like, the part that I 3D printed that I was using a lot basically snapped and broke, and then the, P the Bolton tube was popping out, so I wasn't able to put out any filament to print anything so i went i've found inside of my shed a part that i 3d printed already see that white piece right here that's called the ultimate extruder and if you guys want i can um put the a link in the description for you if you like just make sure you comment so that way i'll do it for you but um i got that part 3d printed before and that's the part that basically snapped on the side and broke and that was pushing out the bolting tube with the filament whenever it was trying to extrude so i had to get the part that i already had printed i printed it again a long time ago so i was able to find it and i was able to put it back i did make a video about um a aluminum extruder that I was trying to use but it just wasn't working out the way I wanted it to and um, my filament just wasn't really working when I had it so I took it off and I put the 3d printed part on so what I did after I got done putting the parts together I three I found it again on thingiverse and I printed it out on this black PLA that I got up here so this is the piece that i 3d printed it's called the ultimate extruder so i printed it out again and i'm about to start printing it again so that way i have two more of these just in case something else happens so this one printed out pretty much pretty good uh, and i didn't really have to do much to it so i'm gonna start the printer now so you guys can see that i got it so i'm gonna go to the settings so if i go down to print from sd card and there you go ultimate extruder that's the one i got the hot end set for 200 um degrees celsius for for it to melt the filament and then i got the bed set for 60 degrees celsius so that way it'll stay warm so I'm going to go ahead and press um, print so that you guys can see that it's going to start working. Okay, so enter. And now in a second, it's going to start. There you go. And I use um, Kira for my slicer software. So it's going to do a test to make sure that it's going to put out some film. It's going to do a little line here in a second right there. So that way you can see that it's actually putting out some filament. You can see that black line. That's the hot end, the PLA from the um, filament. So now it's moving over and now it's going to start printing it out again for me. And it'll probably take me like, I don't know, maybe two, three hours for this to fully print out. Which is pretty quick. I didn't take as long as most of the other stuff that I printed but this is doing pretty good and I didn't really have to do much all I had to do is just unscrew the um, the bolts that are mounted to the step stepper motor so um you can see that it's printing out pretty good already so I shouldn't have any more issues really and that's the reason why I'm making this video so that way you guys can have an easy time with your 3d printers and this will work for the cr10 and the ender 3 because i 3d printed this basically for the ender 3 off a few years ago so i was able to find it and i am using it for the cr10 right now because that one broke but um i'm printing out i printed this one right here for the ender 3 and I'm printing out another one just in case I decide later on if I want to make another 3D printer. 
so I'll be able to have three 3D printers using this um, ultimate shooter um, part that I'm 3D printing right now. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think down in the comment below. And if you let me know in the comments, I will put a description for the link to the description of where I got the, these parts from on um, Thingiverse. Thank you. I appreciate everybody watching. You guys have a great day. Goodbye.